All right, guys, welcome to what is probably the last episode of this series. Um, I have, in, in off-screen, gone and finished all the spare... Uh, at least I, what I think are all the spare, uh... Puzzles. I have was waiting to complete these until we'd finished... This painting is truly brilliant. It simply must go on my wall. By the way, Luke, I have a present f for you to mark this occasion. Turn off your Nintendo DS once, then restart the game. At the title screen, select bonuses, and you should have a new challenge for me. Now, I know you're excited about your present, but be sure to save before you restart your DS. Sweet. Okay, well, we'll look at that after. And the final piece of the dog. I found it. We now got a Robopup. There we are. The little robot dog is finally assembled. Now we just have to name the rascal. I have a feeling he'll come in quite handy. By the way, Luke, I have a present for you to mark this occasion. Yep. We'll name him Rusty. There we go. Now we got Rusty. I don't know what Rusty does. Leads. Oh. Well, I guess he would have been really useful to have for a good while. Um, Were those in our mysteries? No, they were not. Okay, then. Well... Let us... Go oh. <laughs> Look at that. Let us go into... Here. The last of the puzzles should be in this tower. Oh, not another locked door. Whoever built this tower must have enjoyed watching people suffer. But well, my boy, you just going to stand there and complain about it? N no. Leave this puzzle to me. A magic square. You need to solve this magic square in order to proceed. A magic square is said in numbers are going to... Oh. Uh, so that adding any string of the three numbers results in the same total. And fifteen. That's fifteen. That's fifteen. Fifteen. That's right. All right. Got it. The door's now open. Good show, Luke. So, what was it you were asking me earlier? I'm all ears now. I wanted to know when Don Pale Paleo snuck his way into the village. It seems like he followed us here. The only way into St. Mysterious is through the drawbridge. Plus, I doubt Francisco would let in such an obviously evil character such as... Yeah... To be honest, I still haven't quite figured out how Don Paolo entered St. Mysterio myself. It seems that after he made his way in, he tried to stay at Beatrice's Inn. Ah, so that's why the man... So that's the man who skipped out on his bill. Figures it was Don Paolo. So that weasel did himself up to look like, an, to ins, look like Inspector Chumley snuck into the mansion and... Hold on, when need to kill Simon? We'll get to that in a moment. We... We must keep climbing. Come along. Okay, we're just gonna... One of the coins we used. We've been keeping a lot of our coins, luckily enough.
Okay, that's everything. Hey, dude, what are you doing here? Let me click on everything. I'm so glad to see each other, to see other people. I, I thought I'd be wanting this place forever. Hey, how did you get in here? There's no way you solved all those puzzles. It just happens on a mental. Um, wonder, wait, is he French? I am wandering the sewers. Next thing I know, I'm here. I take it that this isn't the local hotspot my guidebook promised me it would be. How curious. So where is it you would like to go if you'd go... So it, where, where is it you'd like to go? If you go down these stairs, you can return the village proper. Just make sure you don't fall into the large hole by the entrance. Ah, ziggy z. That should be enough information to get me there. But may I ask you for one more favor? All this talk of stairs has reminded me of a of a nazo I I I uh, I know. Enter it for me, por favor. Oh, he's not French. He's Spanish. C C. A weird. Um. You have business on the 8th floor of a 10-story building. It took you 48 seconds to make your way from the 1st floor to the... Keep moving at the same speed. The 48 seconds from the 8th floor. So, calculator. Can I write over here? Okay, sweet. So... That's what, well, the easy way to get the answer for this is, where's my calculator? Okay. Um, is it this? <clears throat> that should do it. Okay. Another puzzle. Math hard. Yeah. yeah. Forty eight divided by three. Yeah. Okay. I did do that right the second time. First time I did four, which wasn't correct. They, uh... Where is he? Now I must go to go back to the village. What a strange fellow. Professor, do you suppose that man is a, is human? I believe so. He's an odd one, though, isn't he? I've never seen an explorer with such a poor sense of direction. Stranger still is how he ended... Entered St. Mysterio. I don't think he even he knows how he did it. Perhaps his presence yesterday was another reason why Bruno felt compelled to hide the crack. Okay, just... So, looking around. Miss any puzzles? Seems that we faced another puzzle lock, Luke. Oh, I want to ask you, but I'll run in with that explorer distracting me. How did Simon, you know? Well, all in good time, my boy. First, we need to solve this puzzle. It looks like it's quite the challenge. Please don't be more math. I'm bad with math. Tired of leaping, leading a shelter life, the princess is trying to escape her castle. Guards, however, are blocking her path. Slide the blocks out of the way. 
Slide the blocks out of the way to move the red one. We exit. Okay. Here we go. There we go. Every puzzle has an answer. There we go. The door should open now. Amazing as always, Professor. Now about Simon, what exactly happened in the mansion? Did Dom Pello really murder, um, I mean, make off with Simon? I'd say so. This is just my theory, mind you, but I think that Don Palo followed us into the manor. That's when he met Simon or came across him, as the case may be. I suspect Simon had already collapsed when Don Palo found his body sprawled on the floor. Just like with Raymond. Just like with Raymond. So maybe Simon had... Stop functioning properly, huh? I guess all the robots break down sooner or later, and when they do, Bruno c comes to collect them. And he fixes them. Fixes them here in this basement of the tower. Oh, do you suppose the noises from the tower are actually the sounds of Bruno's machines working? I think you're spot on, Luke. That must be why people began to associate the disappearances with the roaring of from the tower. Don't forget that despite... His peculiar appearance, Don Palo is a scientific genius. Therefore, he probably realized why Simon stopped moving. If it weren't for the golden apple, Don Palo likely would have left St. Mysterio right away. I'm sure he was eager to take the robot apart and learn how they worked. That must be when he decided to disguise himself as Inspector Chimney then. That rat made up the whole murder story on the spot. But that's not the whole mystery. Come on, come, Luke. We must keep moving. We'll explain the rest as we go. We're getting close. Hello, creepy old woman. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here, Terry. How you like to try a little puzzle I made up? How on earth did she get up here? She must have overtaken us at some point. Funny, I didn't even see the old girl pass us. <laughs> Quit whispering among yourselves. And try to oh, my puzzle already. It's a... Okay. You've placed one joker, four one joker and four aces with different suits face down on the table. Use the hint below to determine the position of each card. The club is to determine the club is immediately to the right of the heart. Neither the diamond nor the joker is next to the spade. Neither the joker nor the diamond is next to the club. Neither the diamond nor the spade is next to the heart. Okay, so I think this is right. So we can't have the Joker next to the spade. We can't have the diamond next to the club. And we can't have the Joker next to the club. This should be it. That should do it. Another puzzle solved. Those ones are easy. Tons of RPGs use that kind of puzzle. Oh, yes. Yes. The answer, all right. Well, then, I guess you'll be off. Come visit me sometime. I guess she followed us in here. Um, I think I might have missed one. Oh, no. Do some clicking around, see if there's any puzzles. Nope. 
Just like I thought, there's another puzzle locking this door. It looks really difficult, Professor. Luke, my boy, haven't you learned by now? No puzzles without an answer. Now we simply need to find that answer here. Allow me. Use each of the numbers 1 through 9 exactly once to fill in the blanks and complete this equation. Uh, what minus what is 3333? Three, 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 three? Bigger number! Bigger, bigger number! Let's see if this is correct. Yep, yep. I uh, because I'm a genius, you know. That's exactly how I. It wasn't guesswork. It wasn't like my own messed up theory that made no sense to nothing. Definitely big brain. I'm a genius. Creativity and perseverance, Luke. As long as you have these, no puzzle is beyond your reach. Professor, I was just thinking. You remember that picture we took? We found in Lady Dolly's room. One with the Baron's late wife, Violet, holding a child who appears to be the young Flora, of course. That's the one. It's uncanny how much Lady... It's uncanny how much Lady Violet looked like Lady Dahlia. Do you suppose Ben Reinhardt journal entries were talking about Lady Dahlia? Sharp thinking, my boy. I believe it went something like this. The craftsmanship of it is simply remarkable. It reminds me of my sweet Violet when she was alive. That's the one that... That's the one that me off. Professor, do you suppose Lady Dolly is actually a robot built to resemble Lady Violet? That's entirely possible. Maybe even probable, given the circumstances. But if so, that's a terribly sad story. These entries tell. Do you remember what the next entry said? Laura doesn't like the th thing at all. I've seen her run away from it on multiple occasions. Recently, she spends more time playing by dear Violet's grave than anywhere else. I'm sad to say, but I doubt Flora will ever take to it. I can't blame her, as I've changed its memories. I felt terrible forcing that change on Flora, but I just couldn't bear to see it like that anymore. Violet, there can, be another, there can never be another like you. You were my first, my last, my only. The Baron arranged for the construction of a robot for Flora that was identical to his late wife, but living with a machine that was so similar to his wife must have been too much for him. Thus he decided to change the robot's personality and so Lady Dahlia was created. As she was originally created as mo a, a mother figure, she must have gone through a confusing transition. Hmm? Professor, do you suppose these robots feel sadness? Honestly, I'm not quite sure. But I have a feeling that each of these robots have something not unlike a human heart. What do you think? I... I hope... I hope they do. Two left. Two left and... How many more puzzles left? Ninety one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. Oh, we need one oh one, one oh six, one oh eleven. Almost, we've almost all, all done all of them. That's actually really cool. That's that's neat what that dog does. Do you suppose we're near the top yet? Yes, but it seems that we have another puzzle in the way before we get there. Oh, I guess 100 as well. Your task is to draw lines between the pins on this board to form 
seven squares. The seven squares do not have to be uniform in size, but... Let's make them all wonky. That's a square. See a square there? See a square there? See a square there. That's all the pins used. Look, here's my answer. I'm a genius, uh, actually confirmed, big brain. No, it's it's annoying. Why'd you tilt them all? You made me think that they were all gonna be like a mix, not ninety percent tilted. You know, uh, you know, it's very odd how this tower is simply huge, and yet there's almost nothing inside of it. Yes, quite. Other than Bruno's r room in the basement, the whole place is rather bare. Perhaps that is why Bruno's machines much make such a racket. This tower is like a giant megaphone. Why would anyone want to construct s such a big pur purpose as tower, Professor? It's exhausting to climb this thing. Huh. Did you ever consider that this tower might have been built for the express, purses express purpose of exhausting us? This is just another one of these of the many trials that have been set for the seekers of the Golden Apple. Oh gosh, that makes perfect sense. Maybe that's also why the tower looks so scary on the outside. And stamp it in. Oh. No? Okay. This door doesn't appear to have a puzzle for us. If the Alfred climbs spiral staircase, then maybe... We reach the top floor? I don't... I think you may be right, my boy. Come, let's hurry. Sorry. Just clicking around. Want to make sure got everything. Don't want to miss anything. Oh my gosh! Our our view was obscured from the ground, but who would have suspected a charming cottage like this up here? Look, the lights are on, Professor. It appears that someone is living here. Looks like I was wrong. One ten puzzle solved. Okay. You reach the top of the tower, return to the village, explore. What kind of person would live in a place like this? Ooh, it's kind of cool. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just look at this room. The stuff in here has to be worth gazillions. This must be the top floor that Bruno spoke of. So we might be standing in the same room as the golden apple at this very moment. I've been waiting for you to. Oh, I've been waiting for you to. It, it's you. you see here is the golden apple herself. You? You're the golden apple? Professor, you knew about this. I had an inkling. Don't you see how genius it is, though? The Baron didn't write the will to find a successor to his fortune. 
His true aim was to find a worthy guardian for his daughter, and he was willing to put his whole fortune on the line to do so. Yes. My name is Flora. I've been waiting here in the tower for so long. Were ye locked up in here the whole time? Oh no. But before Papa passed, he told me that I should wait here until someone from outside Mr. St. Mister came for me. Papa said that whoever came for me would be someone I could trust with my life. So that's why you kept watching us move about town. What was that? Sounds like Pokemon music. Look at them. Just look at them stress the power of the DS. Sure, it's kind of pixely, but it's still pretty fucking cool. Follow me! We must evacuate this tower immediately! What now? How do we get the hell out of here? What are we go what are we going to do? I got it. Just wait for wait a moment, Flora. Uh What's he doing? Are we making a glider? Mhm. Mm I need that, please. Thank you. Oh my god, we're making a glider. We made a glider! <laughs> hmm? I'll smash you right out of the sky! Don't get me wrong, I like vo I like voicing people in general, but when it comes to voicing villains, I have a lot of fun. No. Ah, That's an apple birthmark. <laughs> My goodness, you're all right, Professor. Don Pale's flying contraption was something else. I really thought you were going you were done for back then. Back there, there? Yes, it was all quite dodgy, but he was he also provided us with the answer, so to one of our ongoing mysteries. Do you remember that awful noise we heard the first time we visited Reinhold Manor? 
The one that spoke Claudia? Oh, so that must have been the noise. You've put it together. The racket was likely Don Palo's contraption making a crash landing. If that's the case, then we know... We, we now know the approximate time of Don Palo's entrance into St. Mestre. That makes perfect sense. It would figure that Francisco wouldn't have noticed Don Palo's entrance. So if Flores is the guy Apple that everyone's been looking for, that means the treasure that Lady Dahlia and the others were tracing after never existed in the first place. No, I'm fairly certain they weren't mistaken. I do believe a fortune is hidden somewhere within this town. But the Baron would need to hide it somewhere only the Golden Apple would know how to look. Yeah, I mean, Flora knows where the treasure is hidden. I'm sorry, but I don't know about a treasure or anything like that. Let's head back to Rhino Matter one more time. I, sus I suspect we'll clear everything up there. Uh. No, but okay. Professor, do you really think the treasure could be located here? Look closely at this painting, Luke. I'm sure it holds the key to the Reinhold fortune. But I've already looked at it. If we solve this mystery, Luke, I'm certain we'll come face to face with the Reinhold treasure. Search the painting where the golden apple is hidden. I remember now. It's right here. Ah! A switch! A hidden switch! Switch seems to have activated the wall. And to think that that Rowan Hall Manor had the secret behind the, this painting all along. Looks like there's a passage that leads further in. Oh! Let's see. Let's see where this passage goes. Sweet! <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this place. I had no idea. No, no. How in the world did you know that switch was hidden in the painting? Listen closely, Luke. Wisdom wasn't the only thing Baron Reinhold required of potential guardians for his only daughter. You saw it too, did you not? That peculiar birthmark on her neck that only appeared once she laughed? In other words, Baron Reinhold set one of the last requirements for the potential inheritor of his fortune. He wanted someone who could make Flora smile again after losing her those dear to her. To that person, and that person only, could Baron Reinhold reveal the location of his actual fortune. That's unbelievable, pe Professor, but it all makes sense now. Flora, my little Flora. Where's that voice coming from? Flora, you've made it here at last. My voice, Papa, is that you? Papa? My dear Flora, the village watched over you as I would have. I bank built Saint Mister for you so that you would never have to know true loneliness. Well, to be fair, Bruno did the actual building. But that's besides the point. In any case, if you've come this far, I suppose it's safe to assume my plan was a success. My greatest regret is that I'm not there to see you become a young woman. Please, but please know that I want nothing more than for you to be happy. Whether the person beside you right now can give you that or not is up to you, I suppose. And to that, and to you who have found your way to my daughter's side, you have my heartiest congratulations. If you can make it through the barrage of puzzles I set before you, imagine a person of your ability has already caught on, but allow me to re reveal St. Mysterious' greatest secret. The secret of St. Mysterious? Recently, I was told by my physician that I don't have much time left on this earth. I come to, to I've come to, I can come to terms with dying, but I can't. I, but the thought of leaving my only child alone, in the world torments me. This is why I've commissioned Bruno to construct Saint Mister. At least this way, she 
would be safe and protected until she's old enough to venture to the outside world. Great buildings are the bones of a village, but its heart is the people who live in it. If it were I asked Bruno to create all the villages here, as well as all the puzzles hidden within them. I've asked Matthew to make news of my debt public only after once Flora has grown past childhood. So stra stranger, how does my beautiful flower look? I imagine she's blossoming into adulthood. Equally important to me is finding someone to whom I can entrust both my daughter and my fortune. This is why the inhabitants of St. Mister are constantly testing the knowledge of the visitor. If you've made it this far, must mean you've possessed both wisdom and dedication to my daughter. I'm confident that you will take good care of my fortune and flora. This is why everything in this room, the whole of my fortune, belongs to you. When you remove it from here, St. Mysterio will complete the objective for which it was created. I imagine the inhabitants will fall to a deep sleep from which they never are never to awaken. Now, just, now wait just a minute. Is he saying that if we take the treasure, all of St. Mysterio will disappear? I honestly don't know the answer to that question, Luke, but it's possible St. Mysterio is designed to shut down the instant we lay a hand on the treasure. So if that happens, everyone will just stop. Just like the puppets with the strings cut. I leave it to you now, brave shall Drive to the keep on no, St. Mysterio and lay this lifeless village to rest. Above all else, take care of my precious daughter. She is in your hands now. Oh, Papa. I can't believe it. If we even touch this treasure, all of St. Mysterio will grant her hope. Nora, by right, this inherent belongs to you. You should be the one to decide what's, what's done with it. I... I don't want it. But why ever not, my dear? The people who live here have been with me for so long. Curious as this village is, it's watched me grow up. And what's this, I want St. Mysterio, my village, to be just as it is, forever. I see. Then so it shall be. But what of you, Flora? Will you stay here with your village? I, I... <clears throat> oh, you sure this is quite all right, madam? Are you sure it's quite all right, madam? Certainly, if leaving will make Flora happy, I'd like nothing more than to see her off with a smile. What an astonishing village that was, Professor Layton. Does this mean you'll be gracing the front page of the London Times again sometime soon? No, Luke. St. Mastel's secret must stay between us. Huh? Why do you say that? You see, my dear boy, we don't want people to make a spectacle of Flora. That wouldn't be right. Of course. Always thinking of others. <laughs> well, one must always put a lady's needs first. That's what a gentleman does. <laughs> well, that's the end of the game. There's, well, it says 120, so I think the last 10 are on the main menu.
That was one hell of a game, though. I didn't think I was going to fully enjoy it because I'm not... Puzzle mas Master... I don't think there's a way for me to skip this. But, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed this as much as I did. I had so much fun. <laughs> that ending was kind of bittersweet. Uh, still very much satisfactory, though. This was an awesome game. It was short. I thought it was going to be a bit longer. Unfortunately, it wasn't, but, you know, it is what it is. We completed all the puzzles. We got the gizmo a bit late. That would have been way useful if I had realized where the missing part was sooner. But I didn't think I could go to where it was. But oh well. There's... Kira Tago. You got, you made some amazing pu Some of them were annoying, buddy. Some of them were annoying, but you did amazing. The people who were behind the animation for this, you really stretched the limits of what the DS was able to handle. But still, it was amazing. I'm so glad I had so much fun with this game. I hope you all had in, like enjoyed this as much as I did. I loved... I liked doing the voices. I liked playing the puzzles. I liked the story behind it. I liked the twists and turns. I'm so glad that you all... If you've watched this whole series, then I'm so glad that you made it to the end with me. And I appreciate the hell out of you guys. I, I'm, I'm just going to see if there's an after credit scene. But, yeah. If there's not, then we'll just cut straight to it, the outro. If there is, you'll see it play now because I'll cut to it. But I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this as much as I do. I did. I really, really did. I can't wait to start the next one. Uh, stay tuned for a channel announcement that's coming very soon. Um, and yeah. I hope you all have... Oh, he's fixing him. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, night, time. And I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out, guys.